Apparently, this new operating system called Fimpid is better than Android. They're claiming it to be the best OS for your Android phone. They've only made like two to three videos in the past one month explaining what that is and it's still super vague. There isn't a working version of the software or anything. At this point, it's just a bunch of cool looking videos and renders. I mean, I get it. Most companies start out that way, but this is a software company. It shouldn't be so hard to at least develop a beta version of that UI, at least so we can see. They're introducing Fimples apparently it's a AI assistant or something. Look, I, I'm not impressed by AI assistants anymore, especially software assistants. Very few companies can actually build a compelling product out of AI like Rabbit did. That's kind of a cool concept. But I don't know what this is. They don't explain what Fimples is or show anything about it. And they have two more use cases mentioned. Apparently this platform can seamlessly integrate with Windows two to three apps at once. What does that mean? Like what does connect your app even mean? And they even have a Fimpit Doodles app it's maybe like a figma alternative even though they have figma as well supported i really don't understand their approach here they have mentioned a few other app names fimples which we already knew there's Fimpit Cloud, Omniverse, Dropwave, Multilingual Support. I mean, Android already has multilingual support. Multitasking? You see what I mean, right? It's all over the place. There is no clear message as to what this thing stands for. Apparently, it allows for seamless multitasking and it's designed to be lightweight, I guess. Striking visuals and customization and ongoing support. For what? It's an operating system. What exactly do you need support for? And there's nothing else in this page as you can see if you want to contact them you have to join their discord and to find out more i had to dig through their terms and conditions they do have a few apps listed here apparently there's even a email client called female <laughs> you may use female only for lawful purposes <laughs> you agree to not use female to send spam <laughs> i agree i don't like where this is going Oh man, that's a hilarious name. And in this same privacy and cookie policy, we learn a few other things like the Omniverse they mentioned. Apparently it's a social media platform. Is that really what we need? Like, is this how you make a, an operating system better than Android by making your own OS? You can engage with users globally. Yes, that's what social media means. And they still gather personal details from you. Like they collect your data. So they're not exactly better than say Instagram or any other app, at least in terms of user experience and privacy let's see we may gather data regarding your engagement with other users the content you access your browsing activities on the platform so what's the difference and again there is nothing mentioned in the home page like at least you could have mentioned a couple of lines or shown a concept diagram at least of these apps i understand that it's super early but i'm just pointing things out as i see there should be a lot more information shared especially now that you are pushing out videos to promote your apps and services well that was about it i couldn't really find find much more details about this it's basically brand new in fact this video of mine is probably one of the earliest ones ever made so you tell me what you think about Fimpid I don't know if it's open source or not it doesn't exist yet and my guess is if it does exist they'll probably release it for a first few set of Android phones primarily Google Pixel devices maybe a few OnePlus devices those are the kind of phones that usually get these custom operating systems maybe I should get a Pixel you know Pixels do get a lot of support so I'll be able to try cool stuff like this but let me know what you think if there was an alternative to android like this one would you try it